Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today is day 23 of my Crafters Companion 2021 Advent Calendar series. I hope you've been enjoying this series so far. I have definitely had a blast and well, while it's been a challenge to create um, a video to post each of these 24 days, I've found that it's um, been immensely fun to craft with this entire Advent Calendar. I'm going to start off by um, embossing a few panels here. Uh, behind today's door is this really pretty um, two and a half by two and a half embossing folder with this really um, nice kind of leafy uh, foliage design on it. And I thought rather than um, cut a fresh piece of two and a half by two and a half, I will just use these scraps of this um, pearlescent cardstock that I have. I think it might be Centura or Pearl. I'm not 100% sure, but I love how pearlescent papers and mirror cardstock, all of those um, specialty papers that don't already have an embossed texture to them, they really, really pick up the embossed design well. I think because they already have a lot of built-in sort of uh, shine to them that once you start adding a, even just a little bit of depth and dimension, it, it really does pop up. And, um, and, you know, even though it's not a 3D embossing folder, it still has a tremendous amount of texture, which is amazing. And I thought that maybe uh, to ground my panels a little bit, I would use this really uh, deep, rich um, green solid color cardstock. And I'm more or less just using scraps from my um, scrap folders. And yet everything does still um, coordinate really well. And I think it's a, it's a nice color palette that I think works well for, um, you know, folks who don't like the pinks and purples and stuff. So I think it's it's a different color palette for me, but I really I really like how it turned out ultimately, um, the mix of the different greens. And I did, for such a simple card, um, it did take me a while to figure out how I wanted to compose this card. And I guess that can sometimes be the case. Sometimes the most simplest of things really do, you know, take uh, a lot of thought and effort, even if um, it looks simple. And I did shop my Crafter's Companion stash for a sentiment that I thought would work scale-wise, but I couldn't find one that I um, liked that also had the shadow layer. And that was one of the main things I was looking for was a uh, word die or a sentiment die that also has the um, the shadow or the outline um, to the sentiment itself because we've got so much sort of shine and um, pattern with those embossed panels that I wanted to really make sure the sentiment would be legible. And so that's why I was specifically looking for um, a word die or a sentiment die that would actually have its um, shadow or backing plate so that I can die cut that out of some of that same dark green that I'm using to, as a matte layer to my embossed panels. And that way um, it kind of sets the sentiment um, apart from those panels and hopefully makes it more legible. And I thought about um, die cutting my sentiment out of white, which would um, really maximize the contrast. But I, uh, in the end, went with some of that same um, pearlescent, uh, I think Centura pearl cardstock that I have on the two um, panels that are flanking both sides of this card. And I love using my Make Art Station when I'm being indecisive about <laughs> composing my card because it's really it's really helpful to have those um, nice strong magnets hold down your elements as 
as you play, as you move things around, you know, audition um, elements in different locations, and uh, it's simple enough to kind of reconfigure and and um, readjust as as you need. And um, I'm one of those people where I sort of I sort of need to see it before I know whether or not I'm gonna like it. <laughs> and so, um, and that's also why you see me often like covering up the two ends of the um, of the panels that are hanging off the card. That's just so that I can get a better sense of what the what the card will look like um, without that little bit hanging off. So the other thing that I find really helpful is whatever bits and pieces that you're sure of, um, assemble those or or anchor those down as you go. That way you're fiddling with you know fewer pieces. Um, so for example, this, this sentiment, I... Um, I knew these two pieces would be configured this way. So now having glued them together, I can move it around as one piece rather than juggling two pieces. And um, so my first decision was whether or not to center my um, iridescent mirror card. And I decided that, yes, I do want to center it. So I brought in that pink, um, just scrap paper, just so that I could mark the edge. So the left edge of that pink scrap piece of cardstock was the middle, uh, helping me to mark the middle of my, uh, card front. And then now I'm just going to, with the center piece, uh, glued down, I can go ahead and glue on the two sides. And I like to always try to get adhesive as close to the edges as possible. So that's why you see me scribbling on some adhesive onto my, um, panel, but then also scribbling on some at the edge of my, uh, card as well, since I don't, I didn't want to measure exactly where where it hangs off the edge of the card. And I'll trim those off um, in a bit. Um, you can trim it however is easiest. So I just took it to my guillotine and then just uh, chopped it off. But you could use a craft knife, uh, you could use scissors, whatever is easiest. Uh, for me, scissors, I feel like I have a hard time um, cutting, especially long stretches. <laughs> in a straight line. So even with the card base there as a guide, um, I'm just terrible with scissors. I, I'll admit it. <laughs> so I'm much better with um, even like a utility blade and ruler. So the next thing I um, was debating was the sentiment, whether to um, put it um, center it up and down, whether to leave that little bit of green border at the bottom or not. So I was just very indecisive with this card. It should have, it should not have taken me as long as it did to actually finish this card. Um, because it, it is such a simple card, but I am happy with how it turned out in the end. I ultimately decided to put this closer to the bottom just so that you could actually really appreciate more of that embossed um, panel design. And I um, and I also really love this color palette. I think it works really well for anyone um, who doesn't, as I mentioned earlier, doesn't like all the pinks and purples and bright colors or, you know, doesn't, um, you know, isn't a big fan of flowers and, and cute characters and things like that. So I think it's a very, very universal card in that way. And, um, and so here I'll go ahead and snip off the overhang and pretty much my card is complete. I would have added some Nouveau drops, but I don't really have any in these shades or in any shade that would complement the colors that I've used on this card. So I've um, skipped the Nouveau drops and I, I'm going to call this card finished. So I hope you'll join me tomorrow for day 24 of my Crafter's Companion 2021 Advent Calendar series. Thanks so much. Until then, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.